Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are writing proportional equations from word problems. It sounds like a mouthful. It is a bit of a mouthful. We'll take it step by step and get there together. What to expect is that we are definitely going to look at word problems. I know they're not everybody's favorite, but we're going to look at some word problems and practice with them. And then, of course, we're going to see even more word problems. I'm sorry in advance. We will be writing equations, equations with a constant, or in other words, a proportional relationship. There are three basic parts of an equation with a constant. There's a constant, k, and if you were writing the equation to find the constant, it would look like this. There's the independent variable, x, and if you were writing an equation to find the independent variable, you would write it like this. And then there's calculating the dependent variable, or y. This is the equation we're going to use today. So we basically are cutting out all of that information, and we're going to focus on writing equations that are set up to solve for our dependent variable. That's important, and you'll see why in just a little bit but we will not be writing equations to solve for our constant or for our independent variable, which we have done in some of our previous lessons. Let's get started with some of the word problems, and I think this will make a little bit more sense. Word problem number one. If I can make three videos in two hours, write an equation for how many videos I can make in any given time period. With this, what we need to do is we do need to consider a couple of things. One, our constant. The constant, k, is the videos per hour. It's a constant rate. It does not change. Every um, two hours, I'm making three videos. So it's three videos per two hours. And the way we would write that is three over two as a fraction. The independent variable, x, is the number of hours. This is something that can change independently and it will it will force the other item to change. But if the item of the other item um, the um, number of videos changes it doesn't force the time to change as well. Let me say that in a different way. The dependent variable is the videos. The number of videos I make depends on how much time I have. See how that you can put the word depends in there for that one. You can't, however, say that the number of hours depends on how many videos I make. You can't write it that way. So that is um, one way to differentiate the dependent versus independent variable sometimes. Again, this is the equation we're using. We are calculating our dependent variable. So we are going to multiply the constant times our independent value. Now we're going to actually write the equation and solve. Here is our equation, the videos. That's what we're trying to solve for, our y value. So we say our videos is equal to our constant times the number of hours. We don't write the equation like this. We would fill in our values. Videos is y and hours is x just as you see it there. So this is the equation we're going to use. You might ask yourself, why is it so important? Why are you spending so much time writing out this equation? Now that we have the equation, it's going to be very helpful because I can now change the value of hours and figure out how many videos I'm going to make. In other words, I can change my independent variable to discover the new dependent variable. Let me show you how that would look. If I have this table here and I'm told that I have one hour, two hours, three hours, and four hours to make videos and ask how many videos can I make in that time period, I would use the equation that I've written and just substitute my value of x in and solve for my value of y. In this first one, I'm going to solve for um, x value is equal to 1. So I substitute my value of 1 into this equation for my x value. And then I multiply 3 over 2 times 1. And that gives me as a decimal 1.5. Because 3 over 2 as a decimal is 1.5. 1.5 is a 
a better number for first off fitting in this table, but also it makes more sense. How many videos can I make? 1.5 videos or one and a half videos. Makes more sense than writing it as an, um, an improper fraction. Let's continue on. I substitute my value of 2 in for x. Now I do 3 over 2 times 2, which gives me my value of 3. In 2 hours, I could make 3 videos. In 3 hours, I multiply that out, and I could make 4.5 videos. And in 4 hours, I could make 6 videos. This is a great thing to have, this equation over here. It means I could figure out, if I'm able to work for 200 hours, how many videos I'd be able to make. I don't have to make a table and fill out each number in a row. I can figure it out based on any amount of time. And that's why I want to have this equation. Let's do our next word problem. This is a more of a practice one. So go ahead and pause the video, try it out, see how you do on this one. If one mile is approximately equal to 1.6 kilometers, which it is, write an equation that I could use to convert miles into kilometers. That is the question. Pause the video, try to solve that one on your own, then come back and take a look at the solution that I put together. Hey, welcome back. For this one, the trick is that both miles and kilometers could be the independent or dependent variable, um, depending on what it is you're looking for. In this case, I'm trying to calculate the number of miles, so or the number of kilometers, I'm sorry. I'm trying to calculate the number of kilometers, and I will be changing the number of miles. How many kilometers is one mile, is two mile, three mile? So I change the miles, and the kilometers are forced to change. So in this case, I'm going to first identify that my miles are my independent variable. The dependent variable is kilometers because I'm trying to find how many kilometers when I change the number of miles. And the reason that's important is because my constant is the equation y divided by x. Or in other words, in this case, kilometers divided by miles. So my constant will be 1.6 over 1, and I simplify that to simply being 1.6. So my constant, I had to actually first identify what's my independent, what's my dependent, and then set up my constant. So if you set up 1.6 as your constant, your equation would look like this. Let me clear out all that information and just fill in my equation, which is that my miles are equal to 1.6 times my kilometers, or in other words, y is equal to 1.6x. That's how I would write this equation. Now I'm going to show you, like I did in the previous question, all the different ways I could possibly use this, or some of the ways I could use it, because the equation, I just want to show that basically creating equation does have a practical purpose. It means it saves your, you some time. So now you can plug in different letter, different values for x, and you'll get different outputs for y, and it helps you. Basically, this is the way that computer programs run. It's the way that um, calculators work. It's the way that um, most things work when you put an input in and you get a result out for all calculations. So let's do that with this. We're going to calculate not 1, 2, 3, 4, but instead we're going to calculate some random numbers. Um, the number of miles here, 3. Let's start with that. I plug 3 into there. My y value is going to be 1.6 times 3, or 4.8. So in other words, 3 miles is equal to 4.8 kilometers. 6 miles is equal to 9.6 kilometers. 20, 25 miles would be equal to 40 kilometers. And 150 miles 
would be equal to 240 kilometers. Now, I didn't expect you to make this table. I'm just showing you that you can use an equation. Creating an equation is a helpful tool and a good skill to have. So that is me showing you how to make the equation and then just showing you a couple of ways that you can use it. So as a quick recap, we use this equation today. We had to remember that k was our constant, our independent variable is x, and the result of using this equation will be your dependent variable. I hope that that lesson was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.